this movement pattern relates to so many different things. For example, on a deadlift, when you're sitting up for a deadlift, when you get beyond your knees, you're actually doing a stiff legged deadlift. When you're doing a hyperextension, when you're doing it, you're pulling back, you're doing a stiff legged deadlift. Now, what, what happens most of the time? Most of the time people do these movements and they collapse their body forward, which basically says what? They're using which muscles? Erectospinae. Erectospinae, thank you. They're using the erectospinae, not engaging their glutes, not engaging their hamstrings. So then the athlete goes, plays a game, runs, they tear their hamstring. Why? I've done a thousand, uh, you know, I, I do stiff-legged deadlifts. The problem is they haven't ever done a stiff-legged deadlift properly. All they've done is a lot of erectospinae work. It's a hip extension. Now, Liam's not as tight as I would like to. Now, um, that can be taken in many different ways. <laughs> uh, I'm here so, uh, wrap the fingers around. What we need to do is stick your chest up nice and high to the bar. That's it. Now, stick your ass back to the stick. Push back, push back, push back, push back, push, keep pushing back, keep pushing back, keep pushing back, keep pushing back. There, back up. Okay. This is hip extension. Okay. Most of the time, this is finding your hamstrings. We're all going to do this in a motion, in a moment. Right? So, keep this tight. Keep this tight. Push your hips back and back up. You really, and this is with your clients, you need to sink the hips back. And majority of athletes, majority of people do not do stiff legged deadlifts correctly. Because the first thing they do is they round, they bend their knees, and they move forward. That's not a stiff, like you need to push back, activate the hamstrings, down, up. Which means that when you put a bar in most people's hands to do a stiff legged deadlift, the range of motion is going to be greatly reduced. So, meaning most of your clients, their stiff legged deadlift is going to look like that. And that's being generous. Which is not to say there's not value in doing the exercise, there absolutely is, because the exercise, can, if you use it properly and do lots of reps, say 15 reps, you know, four sets, it's going to be used as a weighted stretch. 